Spartans don't need any favors. Now when you're ranked number three in the country, though Tom Izzo said before the game, he knew it. This was going to be a tougher game than the numbers would indicate because that's how Steve Peichel's teams play. But this is what you're talking about, Rob. You can't miss these shots. You just gotta, I mean, you're at the rim. You know, the, you, you look back at the final score, you lose by 10. You're right there. You missed six, eight points from just easy bunnies. Missed opportunities there for Rutgers. 17 of 66 from the field. And how about Miles Bridges? I mean, a volume shooter on this night, but Michigan State needed him to be. But he carried the team. And I think if you look at, we talked about the depth in the open, but tonight the depth wasn't really there until the end of the game. We saw those guys finally get going, but Miles Bridges, you know, he just got it done. Making threes, got himself a couple open ones to start. Thought he really used that to get himself going and make some tougher yeah, shots. Yeah, a bunch of threes in the first half. He'd finish with 21 in transition to Sean Freeman for two, but Freeman just three of 10. Under two to play in the first half, that's a beautiful move from Geo Baker. We are tied 26 all at the half. Second half, Spartans up by three. Joshua Langford, who took 20 shots in this game, misses that one, but Jaron Jackson is there for the putback dunk. Can't teach height. Michigan State up by five. Scarlet Knights still down by five. Corey Sanders, nice crossover. Step back three. Two-point ball game. Eight minutes to play. Still a two-point Michigan State lead with six to play. It's Jaron Jackson kind of growing up a little bit in this one. Well, I, you know, Tom Izzo got into him in this game. Took a bad three. Right after that moment, rest of the game, he played really well. And then it's Winston inside to Jackson. Winston also hit two big late threes as Michigan State hangs on to win it. 62-52, and yes, it was every bit that close. Eugene Omaruyi, along with Baker, 11 points. Freeman had 13 and 9. Bridges and Langford, yes, they combined for 36 points. They also combined to take 37 shots. It's a win, but there will be plenty to work on for Tom Izzo, who took a moment to chat with John Crispin after the W. Coach, before the game, we talked about how much of a grind this was going to be. How good does it still feel to walk away with a win? Well, it feels great, but it was a grind uh, for two reasons. Number one, we didn't play very good early. You know, we had some guys that just didn't play very well. And two, they played well. I mean, uh, Steve's done a heck of a job with this program. And uh, But I told you it before, and it didn't, uh, didn't change. Schedule was brutal in November and December. How, how good does it feel now getting a chance to get some practices in? Well, that's going to be the big thing for us. I mean, we did not get many in in the last couple weeks and uh, you know just the way it went everybody's gonna have those kind of days uh, but it, it was no excuse for why we look so slow early you know and that was disappointing but hey give credit you know like cash has started out so bad made two big threes at the end mark of a good player you know and we got to do a lot of things better but I'll take a win on the road under these circumstances under what we've gone through proud of my team all right thanks a lot coach best of luck 2-0